Welcome back to the channel and in today's Blender tutorial I'm going to show you step by step how to make a oxidized rustic copper material. We're going to be doing this 100% procedurally and you see this blend file here? I'm going to be providing that for free in the description below so I'll explain that in a second. So if you want to learn how to make this really awesome realistic looking um, cycles um, copper material keep watching you can see here this is what we have not too many nodes I'm going to go through it step by step and you guys will have the same awesome result. So let's jump into it and I hope you guys enjoy. So first of all, you can look in the description below. There's gonna be a link to my shader wall. So you guys can go ahead, download it for free. Just put in zero dollars and download it. And then you have the exact same setup that I'm using, or you can just use your own scene. But this is just a way that I've made it for you guys that it makes it just a bit easier. So let's get that file opened up and uh, you're gonna see something that looks like this. Okay, just a blank slate. So let's select the shader wall. Let's go into our shading workspace. Let's click new. Let's go to our camera view. And now let's start adding some nodes. Before we render, um, go into render mode, we'll just add a few nodes first. So let's start by getting a noise texture. By default, we have our principal shader here, as you can see. So we're gonna go Shift A, search. We're gonna type in noise, and we're gonna get our noise texture. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this color, and for now, let's plug it into the base color. Shift A, let's go search and type in color and let's grab a color ramp and place it over here. Now what we're gonna do before we go any further is we're gonna grab these two and we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate them. Just take them down here and we're also gonna go Shift D to duplicate and take it up here because we're gonna use those later. For now, let's just focus on these two here that are plugged into the base color. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna come here to the detail and we're gonna make it seven. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag these two values closer together so we can have a little bit more contrast. So if we now come over here and we go Z and we go rendered, so we get a live render, we can see this is what we have, right? So if we drag these just a little bit closer, you can see this is the scale. And the scale, we're going to leave at 5 for, the, for now. And we're just going to take this detail, leave it at 7. But the distortion, or uh, not the distortion, but the roughness here, we're going to take that all the way up to 1. So now we have a nice kind of texture here, a nice kind of roughness, as you can see. And that's gonna be our color. So for the color here, let's actually come and uh, let's grab this value over here and let's make it a bit lighter. And let's come over here into the kind of reddish brown zone, like so. And then we're gonna grab this one, click on that, and let's take it about the same area like so, and let's make it a little bit lighter in value. So now we kind of have these two reddish kind of brown colors. And you can see we have that nice speckled effect. And let's come over here to our principal shader and increase the metallic. And you could bring this roughness down, but what we're gonna do is we're now gonna use these two down here. So we're gonna take this color over here and plug that into the roughness. So this second duplication that we made. And let's come over here and we're gonna take the scale, leave it as it is. We're gonna take the detail, we're gonna make it six in this case. And we're gonna take the roughness all the way up to one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag these two values closer together, like so, about here. And let's grab this one over here and let's take that value and make it more gray instead of black. Let's grab this lighter value here and let's make it a little bit darker, like so roughly in this sort of ballpark here. Drag them a bit closer together. You can adjust this however you need, but however you go about doing this, um, just adjust the values and slide it just slightly. You don't wanna to go too far off of this sort of thing that we're doing here. The darker we make this one here, you can see it has an effect. The more we slide this one away, it has an effect, but we kind of just wanna get the balance where it's not too glossy, but it still has a little bit of gloss. So something like this looks okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go shift a search type in bump let's get the bump node and place it down here and let's connect this normal to the normal of the principled and now let's take this color output here from the roughness that we set up and let's also put that into the height of this bump and if we're not seeing anything here it might be that we just have to slide this back a little bit so now you can see we're having a little bit of an effect here let's make it a bit lighter in value and it's looking good but it's a little bit strong so let's bring the strength down and let's just slide it down till we think it looks good. So let's go with something like 0.25. And now we have a nice looking copper, as you can see over here, that's looking really good. Now that we have that out of the way, we have a nice realistic copper. Let's make some oxide. And the way we're gonna do this, is we're gonna take our material output node, let's move it up a bit. Shift A search, let's get a mix. 
and grab a mix shader. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna have this principle going into the top input. And then we're gonna grab this principle shader, we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate it. Let's plug it into the bottom. And let's take this one, and let's kind of make it kind of like a copperish kind of green like this for now. And uh, if we now go Z and we go rendered, we can see that these two are just evenly mixed. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this duplication from earlier, this noise texture here, we're gonna plug the color ramp into the factor, and now we can use this. But what we need to do here, we really need to drag these two values closer, like so, and now we can see this. But this is looking awful, so let's come over here and let's do a few things. So we're gonna take the scale and make it two over here. I'm gonna take the detail up to seven, and let's take this roughness all the way up to one, like so. And now what you can do is you can mess around with this till you feel it's kind of the distribution level you want. Um, if you flip the black to this side, you can see that looks a little bit better. So I'm gonna go with something like this. That's looking good, but to make this look even better, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this color now over here, we're gonna feed it into the displacement on a material output. So we're gonna take it and drag it into the displacement. And to give us a way to control this, we're gonna go Shift A, search, and we're gonna type in math. We're just gonna get a math node and place it over here. And let's make the operation multiply. And now we have a way to control the strength. So let's go for point two over here, which looks okay. And uh, mess around with the scale here if you need to, the detail amount, um, it's completely up to you, but now you have a way of controlling the strength of your oxide coating here. So there we have it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save and let's go render and give this a test render. And there we have our result. We now have this nice rustic, pitted, eroded, kind of oxidized copper, which looks really realistic. It looks a lot better. And we just use some really simple nodes. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, definitely give it a like. If you wanna subscribe, that really helps me out a lot. And definitely check out some of my other content. I cover a wide variety of topics regarding 3D and Blender. So I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.